what's up everybody and welcome back to some more once human today we are actually going to be making our way down to the broken delta location uh we're gonna try to do some of these optional areas or like ex exploration around here currently level 13 and the main quest that i have suggests level 14 ish but some of these areas here are like level 13 this one was 11 we knocked that out uh, I do want to try to go down to this one again because all I have left is defeat a elite enemy. Um, there was like an umbrella lady down here too. Like in, I think it was actually right here in this little uh, district that I killed and she seemed like she was an elite lady, but it didn't, or I mean elite enemy, but it didn't count towards it. So we'll try going down there one more time and, and seeing if that does anything or not. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I'm starting to try to follow along with the main story because honestly, even though I am level four, like level 13 right now, a lot of these enemies have been really easy so far. So uh, I'm going to try to follow it a little bit more and kind of go from there. So as always, if you guys end up enjoying this, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. We'll see if we hit the 30 like goal because you guys have been absolutely demolishing every other one um and yeah we'll kind of go from there so i appreciate all the support again for this entire series has done way better than i expected it to and it's been really cool to actually uh play something that i am i enjoy but also seems like the community has been enjoying as well so we do have quite a bit for this game to uh to still continue to uh the, the closed beta basically is going until I think, oh wait, do I, do I have a teleport? Target point locked. Uh-oh. Do I have to drive all the way back down there again? I mean, it's not terrible if I do. Yeah, it shows it's locked, but I can go here, huh? I wonder why. There's also this... So, yeah, let's just try going. Uh, I'll teleport here. And then we'll get hop on the bike and drive down there. Um, but, yeah, so this is closed beta test three. Um, for I mean, we've done a few episodes now. I think this is like seven. And this supposedly is going to be their last beta test that they do before the game officially launches. So... I will be honest, uh, of course, right now, still going to be doing this recording and stuff, but I think I not, I'm not sure if I'm going to go past 10 episodes for the closed beta test because the game is so close to launch. Um, we know it's coming sometime this year, and we know that's probably going to end up being... Uh, either like the middle or the later half of 2024 and a lot of this stuff hopefully by then is going to be uh like a lot of the the bugs and all that is is going to be figured out and resolved so i don't want to spend too much time in the closed beta when we know we're going to be getting a full release of the game and then that's where all of your you know upgrades and everything you do actually matters so I just want to set that expectation. I'm still really enjoying it. And if this was the full release, uh, as long as you guys are enjoying it, as long as I am, then I will keep putting out more episodes. But I just know in the back of my mind, a lot of the stuff that we're doing right now, we're also going to have to do again. Uh, and it might be a little bit, you know, feel a little bit smoother on full release, but there's still that same concept of having to do a lot of this exploration and uh, go into these same areas again. But I've definitely got a good feel for it. So I, I know without a doubt when this game does launch, whatever that may be, I will most likely be streaming it day one. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. So it should be a good time. And then I'll be able to actually dive into a little bit deeper. Let's try to do this. Have a look around Myers Market. So this is where we came to last time. I bet you this is going to give me the fast travel point or something. 
Talk to Claire. Uh, Claire's request. Hey. So. Hey. You and your husband decided to get out before it was too late, huh? Well, thanks to you, the road north was safe, and I could extend my trade route further west. Interesting. I don't know if this business about turning into a tree is related to Stardust or not, but something powerful must be causing it. That's a lot for Hal's Maybe business. A great one? <laughs> Better than Deadsville, but there's still not enough people here who really respect the kind of cultural artifacts I have, you know? How's it going with you? So business is slow? Not a lot of buyers, huh? Never enough buyers, but it's good I ran into you. I have another job for you if you're interested. Just tell me what you want in exchange. Information. I want to know more about Rosetta and the Union. Sure, I can do that. Tell me about the job. I've got a client interested in Mayfly artifacts, one item in particular. But I'll take whatever you can find. There's always a market for that kind of thing. There's a place near here called Hearst Industries, infested with deviants. The Mayflies, from what my sources tell me, were holed up there just before they launched their raid on Rosetta's HQ. I'm hoping they left behind some artifacts, maybe even the one my client is looking for. You bring me back whatever Mayfly artifacts you find, and I'll tell you what I can about Rosetta and the Union. And a sweetener, too. You know, just to make sure my efforts aren't wasted. You're starting to sound like a real traitor. I respect that. Hmm. Fine, you've got yourself a deal, as long as you deliver. No artifacts, no deal. Fair enough. Okay. Mayfly badge. So we got that. Uh, where's... I mean, there's got to be a fast travel point over here, right? I just don't know where it's actually at. Is it that thing? In the sky? I forget how we unlocked it last time. Unless if you just do it over... Oh, uh, you know what? It's probably this thing. Yep. Yep. <laughs> of course, of course. That's all right, though. Okay, so let's try going back down here to do that. And then, yeah, we can also go do this objective. Go to the heart factory and search. Okay. Actually, you know what? Well, the only thing is, I only need one more enemy down there. That's what's just, like, kind of killing me. Because <laughs> it's, like, it's so... Oh. Hello. Let's see. What's the best route here? Oh, I can actually just follow this road. This goes down there. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to fight that thing one more time. We, need, we can at least give it one more try. And then worst case, I mean, we just fast travel back up here. So, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Can my bike just like keep driving through this? Oh, 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 uh oh. Ouch. Oh, there's another one? Oh, no, okay. I thought there was another one coming after me. Whoa. Do a little, a little snap. Okay. Grab this storage crate. Because why not? I could have checked the um, 
what the the things over there say. Hold on, let me actually yeah, let's see what these say. Survive harsh conditions, master skills essential. Wait, what was that? Territory construction. The boat is empty. Puppy is ahead, fish. Friendly swamp puppies ahead. <laughs> Take this thing out. Still blows me away how much damage the, the bow actually does against so many of these enemies. Alright, I want to see... Me want to realize it was over here. Love this game. <laughs> elite and mystery chest. Picture of the boat is the uh, mystery chest and the elite is on the dock before you get to the boat. Umbrella lady elite. Okay, yeah, so it is the umbrella lady. And that's what um, I still remember last time I played that the Umbrella Lady. Oh, hold on. The last time I played the Umbrella Lady, um, there was somebody that left a note saying that she will bug. And then I tried looking for the same note again and I couldn't find it. So, let's see. Careful with the Umbrella Lady up ahead is about as loot crates included in the red one. Okay. Super easy kill. Just hit her with a red barrel. Should almost one hit her. Huh. I haven't tried that last time. I see the Umbrella. Think. All right, let's try it. What? Got her. Wait, but it didn't count. What? Yeah, I don't know. It's just bugged. If they, if she isn't here, go to teleportation. Yes. Yeah, so I saw this one. It's so much faster than waiting for it to spawn again. Elite spawn. Uh, it spawns here. Hope this helps. Be careful. She's tough for low level. Okay. Add me. Okay. I, I might just let this one be because it, it seems like it's just bugging. As with other things. So, yeah, let's let's just go do the this objective. We'll go do this thing. And I'll fast travel up here. Oh, we also have a talk to Claire objective. Um, okay. Trying to hop back on my bike. Wait, so I had two objectives. One to talk to Claire and then another one to... I uh, go up to that location up north. Once I... So I think what I'll start doing going forward uh, is once I hit level... Hold on, let me check what this is. If it's tin... Yep, I want to get some tin. I, I think tin ore is what I needed to make the tier two weapons or something like that. It was it was needed for something. So I definitely want to try to collect what I can here. But um, so I think what I'll try to do starting like going forward now is I'll go one level over the main story, and then the second I hit that one level over, I'll start going back to it. Um, and if we run into any issues, then I can always, you know, go back and do other stuff. But I will say most of the game, especially recently, has been feeling like pretty easy. 
for the most part. So, and I, I kind of want to have more of an objective when the game full, like fully comes out, then I'll probably do a lot of the exploration. I'll keep doing more of the going to each town, searching there and so on. Nice, so we hit level 14. Beginner minor. All right, we'll get these last two. Wow, that spawns fast. This one, and then the last uh, group over there. And then we'll hop back on the bike and keep driving. But yeah, I, I still, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I just want to make sure I'm over leveled for a lot of stuff, but I don't want to be, I don't know. I just feel like I'm doing a lot of exploration when I could be seeing what, what else the main story has to have. But at the same time, when the game fully releases, you kind of be doing the same thing. So I don't know. Half the time, I mean, half the time I'm just talking out loud to you guys. So for those of you that are, are enjoying this this playthrough rather than me just all right let's go over to this location and then kind of just sitting here like that which i'm sure some some of you probably honestly prefer that and that's fine I get it. Me as well, depending on the game. All right, let me actually take the the road down here. I think it'll be a little bit faster. Do a little bit of off-roading. Oh, excuse me, coming through. It's weird that the bike really does not, uh, it, it's not that fast a lot of times, but when you go down hills, it actually feels pretty good. The speed that you can get. All right, let's talk to Claire again. Uh, talk to Claire. Hey. When'd you get here? Claire. So you got here safely from Deadsville? <laughs> Did you just arrive? Well, thanks to you, the road north was safe. And I could extend my trade route further west. That's great. How's business? Better than Deadsville. But there's still not enough people here who really respect... But that's the same conversation as before. I have, you know? How's it going with you? Why don't I treat you? Yeah, I've been doing all right since I last saw you. And I got plenty of food. Why don't you have some with me? Oh, that's nice of you, but I just ate. I've been trying to improve the food around here, though. Have you ever heard of So Frito? Uh, no. What's that? Like, some secret religious ritual? Or... No, no, it's like a base sauce for cooking. It used to be really popular in Latin America and the Mediterranean. Usually, you cut up a bunch of garlic, onions, peppers, tomatoes, and cook them all together. It's supposed to be super aromatic. Ooh, or what about feshwada? I've only heard of it, but it's supposed to be this rich bean stew with beef or pork, and when you eat it... Get Are you sure you're not hungry? Or... Do you have some kind of plan to get me to find the ingredients for these dishes? Even if you did, I don't know how to cook them. But I do have an idea where we might be able to find recipes for them. There's an old house near Sunshine Farms to the west. The locals say an old man who was a master cook used to live there. He and his family were killed by deviants over a decade ago. But... I can't help but wonder if he left any recipes behind. I didn't expect you to be so interested in cooking. 
Hey, cuisine is its own cultural treasure, right? And if I don't rescue these recipes, then these dishes could be lost forever. I have a feeling I'll be the one actually rescuing them. Still, if I pass by, I'll head in and take a look for you. Okay. Go to Hearst and find the secret recipe. Interesting. All right. That actually kind of works out because we got two of these now. We got this one. Uh, go to the factory and search for any Mayflyer artifact. And then also go to here and find the recipe. Cool. So we'll go do both of those. Um, let me untoggle this. Oh. Delete. There we go. All right. We'll hop back on the bike. And let's get up there. Keep it going. But yeah, it's still been really cool seeing, uh, I, I definitely seen a lot of people that I watch that have streamed this game, um, starting to die down a little bit on, um, on playing it. But at the same time, like when the closed beta released, they, they played for, you know, probably three, four hours straight, sometimes six each day. And meanwhile, I'm, I, I've really just been playing like one to two hours at a time for these videos. So, and I feel like that's been a good pace for me personally. Um, I think it's been good because I don't want to spend too much time in a beta. Plus, it seems to be uh, a little bit more open for you guys that do like watching these videos. Not that much of a commitment watching a four hour live stream. At least in, in my perspective. Good second monitor material. <laughs> I guess you could say. Right, let me try grabbing this. Got a storage crate. Got that. Need to get up to the second floor, but I don't see. Is there like a ladder or something in here? Maybe there's a way outside. That works. Make my own path. The vaulting system in this is pretty good, actually. All right, there's a lot of whispers right here. Let's see, let's start with this one. Don't forget to hydrate and press Q. Oh. Poor doggo. Oh no. Not the dog. Not the dog. Does it only play one one time? It does. Body is Andrew. Andrew. Andrew Hurst. Ooh. Now there's a, <laughs> a chest just stuck right here. Interesting. Oh. Okay, nice. Honestly, I forgot that we had that ability. Search for the secret recipe in Hearst. Find Andrew Hearst. Okay. So we got that one. You're doing great. Keep it up. You know what? I'm going to thumbs that up. Chat, you're doing great. Keep it up. Okay. You're watching this and somebody hasn't told you you're doing great. You're trying your best. You can only do what you can. And whatever you're doing, keep going. Secret recipe in the bedroom and weapon crate up 
in the ladder. God. I don't like those noises. I knew it. I knew it. I also don't like that. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, got that. Secret recipe. Really investigating that. Okay, give the Hearst recipe to Claire. Somebody was saying that there's a thing up here, so let's try going up. My guy's a little bit hungry, so let me check inventory here. Is this food? It is. Yep. Go ahead and eat this. Sanity is dropping a little bit. I still need to figure out how to make more of those jellies. Okay, so that objective's complete. Let's go do this one then. That way we can knock both out at the same time. Oops. I really do love, I I've said it multiple times, but I really do love the, like, leaving a whisper aspect of this game with players giving other players hints and everything. It's going to be hard on, on release at first because obviously you're not going to have that kind of stuff. But the, the cool thing is once players start, you know, putting that, that stuff down early on, uh, say if you're, you know, a few days late to the game, or whatever it is i mean the game's gonna be free to play so if you don't play it on launch or you play it a week later or whatever the case is um then that gives more time for these things to spawn in and by these things i don't mean the enemies that just spawned in right in front of me <laughs> which I, I hope that's one of the things that they're able to kind of fix before before the full launch because it's a little rough sometimes. Follow the clues and find the artifact. See, this would be a good spot to put a... an item. Oh, there's somebody right there. Oh, we actually found another person. Look at that. Gonna say I should probably reload this. Get another arrow ready. Okay. Uh okay, let's do a few snaps. Oh, there's something right here. Try it down here. Oh, we got a big guy. Oh, this is the thing where like the stomach opens up and it just makes me uneasy. <laughs> yep. Oh, I hated that. It's so weird. I swear the enemy types in this game are something else though. It's crazy how much variety there is. Okay. 
And also really cool to see. Okay, grab that. Oh, wait, is this the artifact? Google's. Okay. It's the same thing. <clears throat> Oh no. Oh. There is always light. Yes, I know mayflies aren't fireflies in the darkness. <laughs> it does make me think of that though. I will say like when I saw mayflies, uh, it makes me think of fireflies too. Okay, maybe that person was on the right track. However they got up there. Oh, here they are. Here's another one. Go in this direction and see what's up ahead. Oh, okay. Gear crate. Building two power has been restored. Okay. Another chest right over there. So this connects to this building right here. Now it says I'm outside of the objective. Okay. Here's for prayer, Cedic Wonder. I saw the Mayfly emblem and I love it. Okay. There's multiple ones right here. But it seems like this door might be locked because I can't actually open it. Oh, oh, it actually shows an, an icon right now. Hold on. Wait, what? Um. Okay, it's leading me this way. Oh, no, now it's going this way. How do I do this? Okay, it's saying down here. And down here. Oh. Here it is. Badges on a wooden uh, shelf underneath. I feel like I'm being ch okay. <laughs> it sounds like there's like some crazy monsters chasing me right now, but I don't think they are. I think it's just a lot of it's just very noisy here. Oh God.
It must be on the second floor. Again. Emergency med kit. Okay. Mayfly badge. We got that. Weapon crate. Okay, cool. We are, uh, we're good here. We got a robot fish. <laughs> I wonder if that person's like stuck looking for the thing still. Oh, it's the enemy above us. That guy respawn. Somebody's getting chased. Oh, let me see. Are they over here? Oh, there they are. Yo. Jeez. Are you looking for the objective? I don't know if they have a... Uh, I, I press the button for push to talk. Yes, they are. Okay. Here, follow me. I don't know where they went. Come on, where'd you go? Looking for, oh, looking for the mythic crate. Oh, wait, I think the mythic crate is up the elevator I don't know how you pin your location yeah right here place pin There you are. Right here. Over here. I'm right behind you. It should be up this elevator and you'll just have to fight a boss at the top of it. Pretty sure. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, no problem. Okay, they're doing something else. Uh, okay, so return to the market. All right, let's get back here. Uh, we gotta get to a teleportation tower or just hop on a bike. 
Okay, well, now I know that, uh... That that works. Voice over IP works. Or VoIP. I don't know why I say voice over IP. It's just VoIP. But, huh. <laughs> I thought they were looking for the, uh, the Mayflower. Or the Mayfly, uh... Thing. Cool. Oh. So we should have two things to hand in here, declare then. I'm curious about the customers who collect Mayfly. Uh, bring the cooking notes to Claire. Yeah, let's do that. Hey there. What's new? Found some recipes. Your hunch was right. The people in that old house are long dead. But a few things were left behind, including this homemade cookbook. Wow. See, Sec, while they have their I chat. Say? Now let me take a look. Barbacoa, alfa jores, mole, pico de gallo, salsa, tamales. Can you believe it? Just think of all the work that went into these dishes. Fine tuning the process over generations, getting all the ingredients, marinating, cutting, cooking it, presenting it on the table. That's what our past was like, you know? That's what we lost. Making food not just to survive, but as a joy, an art even. Huh. I also found a peculiar shotgun left behind there. Looks like that old man fought to the last breath when the Deviants attacked. It's a pity I didn't meet him when he was still alive. I might have learned a lot from him. At least I can keep this cookbook safe and try to reproduce it for future generations. Here, this is your reward. Already earned my reward. No, that's okay. That shotgun I found is a collectible. I'm happy with that. Why don't you buy some ingredients with those batteries and see how good the cookbook actually is? <laughs> You're a good egg. Okay, then. At least take this to brighten up your home out in the wilderness. Okay. Second. So we handed that in. It's weird. Why is this one should have uh and give the report to Claire? Okay. So the objective still shows up there. Bring the finding to Claire. Still in one piece? That's a good sign. Lots of deviants in Hearst Industries. Wasn't sure you'd make it back. Yeah. A real social hub for the infected. Exactly why I hired you instead of going there myself. So, find anything my client might be interested in? I found this tin box. There's a letter inside from a mayfly to his sister, along with a badge of some sort. A mayfly badge, I'm guessing. Nice work. My client will be very pleased. I believe that letter is the exact item she was looking for. And the badge? I think I'll keep that one for myself, for now at least. It's from the very infancy of the Mayfly movement, long before they adopted a more polished insignia. Hand sewn by someone, a real collector's item, if you're into that kind of thing. Just need to be sure Rosetta doesn't find me holding it. They wouldn't take very kindly to that. Yeah, I'm starting to get the feeling they don't like Mayflies very much. Unnatural enemies with very different agendas. And you'd know all about that. Well, go on. Ask me what you'd like, and I'll do my best to answer. Okay. <clears throat> so we did all that. Mayfly's epita. Go to this. All right, we got some stuff to claim here. 
I have one friend. Oh, we actually got a friend. Wait, where do you see your friends? Wait, I have a friend? Oh. <laughs> They actually accepted it. Delete all. Confirm. Not in a war bot. Okay. Huh. Okay. Let's, uh, so we did that. Is this the other district? No, this is still broken Delta. Almost level 15. I could go do this. The recommended level is mine, my current one. Could also go over here and do the, yeah, the chemical plant and then go over there. Let's actually do that. Let's drive over to this rift. Uh, we'll do the chemical plant and then we can go do the main thing. How's my inventory on other stuff here? So we found like a shotgun. The submachine gun still shows that it's better. It's weird because, like, if you look at this, like, according to this, the submachine gun does 297, but this does 231. Or that is that just its gear score? The damage for the the thing or the uh, the submachine gun is 26. This is 400. Yeah, it's, I don't know, it's so weird. Oh, I actually have crossbow modifications, crit rate. Calibration slot, incompatible. Okay, that's fine. I have all the tier one stuff still. What about cradle? So I think we got a bunch of these now. And hold on, let me go to this one. Feature unlock. Oh, we got all. Oh wait, right, that's true. Yeah, so you can do these, but you can't really, uh... yeah, I forgot how that works. You can only equip one after you clear each segment or sigma or silo, that's what it is. Sigma silo trend on any difficulty mode to unlock. Brilliant. Basic gear. Tactical iso items and explosives. You can make scout drones. Automated aerial attacks on enemies with these shiny new drones. Whoa. Refrigeration. We got some cooking stuff. Medium garage. Vehicle modding. Large garage. I already have this one. Oh, we have to get flamethrowers and then get that. Covering HP, I might actually pick up this one. Plus five. Long acting activator. Is there something for being able to... I'm trying to see, is there a way for us to be able to... Um... Sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, get the jelly. I guess you have to make that somewhere. Water storage. Because we're running low on that the most. Okay, let me just... Uh, let's pick up... Ammunition. Standard am ammunition. Steel arrows. Ooh, steel ingots. Okay. Rocket launchers. 
flamethrowers, advanced ammunition. All right, let's go over here. Let's do this one. I want to get the bronze. So we have bronze casting, refining oil. Refining facility. I'll pick up this. Craft in furnace, iron ore. Uh, sure, I'll pick up this one. Flamethrower, and then let's do advanced gear workbench. All right, that's all I'm going to get because, like, right now I can't really use a lot of these yet. So, unknown, no specialization direction. Like, that, all that, a lot of that is crafting items, all that. So, yo, Newt, thanks for the sub there. Uh, like, of course, as always, whenever I'm streaming or playing these, uh, or not streaming, but when I'm doing the recordings, I still have my alerts enabled. So, you get lucky. Newt, thanks for the sub. <laughs> Even though we're not live at the time. But you never know. You never know. All right, so we got to go over to the... We're heading over to the Rift Anchor, so I'm going to follow the yellow one. But yeah, it's still, still been a lot of fun playing this here been enjoying it uh is this going the wrong way i guess it kind of wanted me to go up here oh it's because there's a, is there a bridge or uh oh there is a road right here <laughs> wait it's not the train track i guess that works I'm struggling. I'm struggling. All right, we got to get down onto the actual road. Okay, this is fine. Am I going the right way? Yeah, this should work. What is this? Kind of looks cool here. It's like a little diner. Okay. We're getting there. You have left Mr. Marble's territory. Not Mr. Marble's, man. Oh, you encounter a cluster of strange looking statues. Be careful. It's weird, like the, the audio started and then it goes away <laughs> because I think as we're moving, it doesn't actually follow the, the player. So it just stops. Okay, we're almost over here. Stardust pollution is getting worse. 
And a nice thing about going to the rift anchor is usually, now we'll see if that's the case here, but usually there's a bunch of whispers nearby that people leave telling you where the actual objective is. So. Frog Deviant plus Loot Chest spawns right across the lake. Jump on the two big lily pads for a loot chest. Oh, it might be those little things. Spawns across the lake. Gear weapon chests are in the main warehouse. Find an elevator for one and go up some stairs for the other. The mystic chest is there as well. Main warehouse. Okay. I'm guessing it's all over there. I put down a, uh, not be built near a road. I don't even know where my last time I, I put one of these down was. Grab some oranges. Oh. A very dark all of a sudden. Weapon accessory, jump on the big pads. Ah. Okay. Tactical flash hider. That's kind of cool. Man, the atmosphere really changes the second you get here. Try to get inside here. I don't know where is this? Just more copper. Yeah, I think we're still... We got plenty of copper right now. Take out some normal enemies. I can't be the only one that's been only using the bow too because it just does so much more damage than the rest of the things. When I said the main warehouse, I'm guessing this is going to be the main warehouse. It looks like it might be. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, can't read that. Yep, this is it. It's crazy that the critical hits even do so much damage right there too. All right, let me try reading these again. Into the right red chest, need to climb in from above. Okay. Clear the area, then take the stairs. You'll find a weapon crate. Take the elevator at the far back. Follow the route to the mystical crate. Oh, I need to use the jelly. I realized how low my, my sanity was. 
And you know what? We'll use this too. Wait, what? Why did I just lose so much more sanity again? Is it like the food that I just ate? I'll go up these steps first. jellyfish oh can I stomp on it nice <laughs> oh. I think it's above me Been crate. Let me see. Do I have anything to reduce my sanity? Minus 300. Dirty water sanity minus 300. Weak spot damage when your sanity is above 80%. Nah, uh, not doing great. I'm at like 50% health right now because of this. All right, let's see. Start right, going up. So we need one elite enemy. We still need to get uh, the other gear crate, the mystical crate. Nice. I'm just gonna drop down. Ouch. Oof. I do kind of wish that you got more gear and not just blueprints throughout like playing uh, I kind of wish there was something that would give you more gear okay guys legs are freaking out a little bit Let's try, can I use the bandage on that? Where did the bandage go? Spoiled food. Oh, here it is. Yep, that worked. All right, where else would they be? Not exactly sure where the elite enemy is going to be here. Whoa, what the heck? Oh. I guess there's not really any drop to it. That might be the elite enemy right there. use this gun for once oh, I'm gonna die I'm gonna die 
my sanity is way too low for all this. I am gonna die. I just can't believe how how little damage a lot of these these weapons. Compared to the the bow. I lost the uh, the guy. Try using a Molotov. Of ammo for both weapons. No, dude. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Yep. Wait, adrenaline shot. I feel like I should just give up though. <laughs> If I'm out of ammo right now, this is just going to get worse. Damn. All right, we're retreating. Retreat! Retreat! I got to go back. I got to go get some ammo. Go, 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 go! was a little rough all right let me go back over to my little territory here time to make some ammo i might be able to make a little bit of a better weapon too while i'm here like can i make a bow at all or no So LMG, you need bronze, copper, adhesive. Okay. Can I make bronze? I can make some. I need more charcoal though. Sure, let's make, you know what? It's so easy to get charcoal, let's do it. Bronze, oh, that's what it was. Yeah, so you need tin and copper to make bronze. That's why I needed to do it to begin with. Uh, okay, supplies. So, can I make some arrows here? I can. I just need more logs to do that, okay. Okay, uh, somebody spawned there for a second, shot, and then disappeared. Alright, I've got 200 logs already. 
We got so much we can make. Uh, make a bunch of copper arrows. We make uh, 115. Not too bad right there. Not too bad. Okay, now that we got that, let's make 63 bronze ingots. Stove. Can I make any of those jelly things? Dude, this assembly. Rainwater. Okay. Upgrade territory. Oh. Level up, I guess. It won't let me. I tried pressing F right there. <clears throat> Boiled water. We could make a bunch of those. These are all just like hydration and other things. Belly. Is it over here maybe? So let's collect all those. Oh, we could make like copper ammo. The copper SMG ammo. Or just regular. Wait, what's the difference? So you get 120 of these. If I make some more copper ore, I'd be able to make some more of that. I'll load that up too. Quick activator. That's HP, healing, antibiotic. Activator. Is it like a... Maybe it's an unlock? Wait, it search like jelly. Or I'll ask, how do you make more jelly? so bad <laughs> so much let me actually yeah let's just craft all that what i can only do oh because i need more logs to do more of it oh that's funny let me try making the smg or the lmg tier two. Oh, i need copper oh, kidding it's a cycle. It's just a constant cycle, man. Yeah, you need more charcoal to get more charcoal. You need more trees to get more trees. You need more. My sanity is dropping an insane amount right now. It's not good.
chop down these. You're a bit exhausted from carrying this load. Oh, oh, for the first time, my inventory is actually full. Let's see. Well, let me make a uh, storage. I can't make any. Really? I need to unlock it. Great. Oh, okay. Been getting a lot of blueprints though, which is kind of cool and a lot of mods lately. All right, let's go search crate. I'm not sure what it's going to be under your storage. Here we go. Storage. See, this is why I saved. This is why I saved my points to get little things like this. Okay. Storage crate, large crate. Uh, I'll put it right here. Two little guys. That works. Can you sort by organized backpack, bunker access codes, access permit, or 11, okay, 30, 30. gonna discard all the spoiled food hmm oh we have a lot of copper ammo too for other stuff portable mixed fuel Orange seed. Oh, we have a lot of seeds here, too. Construction. Oh, I have one of these guys? What? Frog the Leaper? Yeah, I, I haven't even, like, dived into how these work. Small metal figure that can help with territory management will mine ores for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the only combat one. Uh, will help increase crop yields. Use elixir to enhance jumping ability. Alright, let me drop a bunch of these materials in to this one. I'm hoping, like, if you kind of have this stuff here, that you can still use it over here. If it's, like, in your inventory, I hope that it still counts. New specialization effect. So we hit level 15. Uh, resource consumption formula explosive on the go harvesting sickle when this is in your backpack you en uh, enjoy 20 to 40 percent chance of doubling your crop gain large storage crate with 64 item slots
Resource consumption and smelting when smelting copper, bronze, steel, uh, using, oh my God, that, I feel like that's too good to not, not to get it. Especially since I'm starting to use a lot more of these now. Okay, cool. All right. Well, we are actually going to pause this one here. I was, <laughs> I was actually going to make this one a little shorter, but uh, we ended up going longer. So for right now, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely leave a like on the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, we'll still probably put out a few more episodes as long as you guys are enjoying it, watching them and liking them, then I will do my best. Um, but I'm going to try to actually look into like the territory management stuff and see if I can get those guys to spawn in and, and uh, like, you know, we have this guy, but I'm still like kind of confused how this works, uh, to be honest. Like if I do withdrawal, but it just, yeah, not sure if I put this guy in there. Multiple journey. Yeah, I'm not sure how this works, but anyways, uh, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.